Welcome to This Week in Cleveland News. I'm Harrison Steele, and today, we're uncovering a story that seems more fitting for a Hollywood script than our city streets. If you're intrigued by tales of clandestine dealings and the shadowy figures who operate them, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly reports. In the bustling urban backdrop of Cleveland, a sinister plot has been thwarted by the FBI. Local news sources reported that the main characters in this real-life drama, two men, 66-year-old George Baines, also known as Isa Youssef, and 48-year-old Aaron Betts, who found themselves entangled in an illegal arms trafficking operation that had international stakes. The FBI's Cleveland division swooped in last Friday, arresting Baines and Betts amid allegations that Baines orchestrated a network dedicated to smuggling not just firearms, but also the components for potential destruction. Court documents paint a disturbing picture. Baines allegedly orchestrated purchases of new and stolen firearms, aiming to smuggle them out of the country. But his criminal ambitions extended even further. Betts, pulled into the fray at a local gun show, became an instrumental part of this operation. He knowingly sold multiple firearms back to Baines, feeding into a pipeline that was supposed to end in foreign hands. The twist? Baines was also plotting to smuggle bomb-making parts, including giving a gas mask and firearms to a cooperating witness. The stakes were raised when it was revealed that Baines reportedly sought to escalate his criminal enterprises to the ultimate crime, murder. He is accused of soliciting the very same witness to eliminate someone he knew, now both Baines and Betts face a myriad of charges. They are behind bars, awaiting the chance to answer to charges that include firearms trafficking, conspiracy, and even soliciting a murder for hire. Stay with us as we continue to follow this case and provide updates on how it unfolds, impacting our community and beyond. Your engagement helps keep our content alive and ensures that crucial stories like this one don't go unnoticed. This has been Harrison Steele with This Week in Cleveland News. Thank you for watching, and remember to stay vigilant as we shed light on the darkness lurking in our own backyard. See you next time for another deep dive into the stories that matter.